Now, with almost 60,000 entries, winning a prize at the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Awards is not easy. Mm. But the victorious images are stunning, and we've got some of them to show you this morning. They include this image here. Isn't that gorgeous? Mm -hmm. The leopard seal below sea ice. It was taken by Matthew Smith and is the winner in the underwater category. We've got another one as well. This one taken by Robin Darius Cons of a tiger there looking very relaxed on a hillside overlooking a town. Igor Matelski took this image of a lynx stretching in the sun. Isn't it funny mm. how you see all cats do that? Yeah. All the same. Um, he positioned his camera near the, near the footprints of a potential prey to get the shot. The winner of the Young Photographer competition was this one from 17-year-old Alexis Tinkertavallis from Germany. A close-up of a fruiting slime mould and a <laughs> tiny spring which tail. Which one's which, John? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Let's just ask Alex. He used a technique called focus stacking and combined 36 images into that one just to get it. Isn't that great? Are you ready for the top? prize winning Bring it photo. On. Here it is. That's the one from marine conservation photojournalist Shane Gross. It is a swarm of toad tadpoles. He had to snorkel for hours through lily pads in Cedar Lake on Vancouver Island in Canada and that has won him the title Wildlife Photographer of the Year. After all that effort it's probably a good thing he won isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Incredible. I mean, the image, you know, we just get an insight through the stills that you don't get in any other way. It's all about the planning. Yeah. That's what you learn from that. It's all about setting up the shot and then waiting, being very patient. Patiently waiting for us to stop talking right now. Yeah. We've got some amazing pictures uh, to show you this morning because after 60,000 entries, uh, we've got the finalists in the Wildlife Photographer of the Year Awards. Imagine trying to choose the winners for this. That's a lot to decide from. We've got some, look, including this one. This is an image of a leopard seal taken from below sea ice by Matthew Smith and it was the winner in the underwater category. So pretty. How would you get below the sea ice to take that? Uh, here's another one. This one was taken by Robin Darius Cons, a tiger on a hillside overlooking a town. Igor Mutelski took this next image of a lynx stretching in the sun. You can see he took the picture from... You can see the footprints of potential prey. That's how he got the shot. Brave photographer Pretending there. to be prey. Uh, yeah. The winner of the Young Photographer competition was this picture from 17-year-old Alexis Tinkertavallis from Germany. It's a close-up. That is fruiting slime mould, <laughs> I think, on the right, and a tiny springtail on the left. And apparently he used a special technique called focus stacking, where he combined 36 different images and created this one. Looks a bit like a bug to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bug. Yeah. And here's the photo that won the whole competition. Marine conservation photojournalist Shane Gross got this shot of a swarm of toad tadpoles after snorkeling for hours through lily pads in Cedar Lake on Vancouver Island in Canada. It won him the title of Wildlife Photographer of the Year. Now, that is quite a thing, to snorkel through all of that for hours. I think you're right what you were saying earlier. That it's the preparation, it's the yes. planning, just to get a picture that yes. nobody's ever got before.